Warning, do not attempt the extreme Easter chocolate openings you see in this video. Leave this sort of activity to the professionals. This video is going to blow your mind. Well, let's kick off and open up some of these Kinder Surprise Maxi Eggs. How are we going to open these ones? Blow them up! Blow them up! Talking Tom wants to see these beautiful surprise eggs blow up. It's time to get out the explosive Play-Doh. As I found in my previous unwrapping unboxing video, these sorts of eggs, they are actually quite difficult to open up. So maybe the cat's got a good idea in blowing them up. My evil brain is sort of thinking to put a Play-Doh explosive charge somewhere down the bottom. Okay, I have the first explosive egg opening here. I just hope I don't destroy the toy surprise inside. You know what? People have always told me Easter time's a blast. And you know what? They were correct. It looks like the GoPro survived that, but let's take a bit of a CSI look at what's going on here, because I'd hate to be delivering this without some sort of scientific backup. It is quite interesting to see how the different components of that chocolate egg have broken up. It's quite interesting, the plastic that protects the egg is actually quite solid when it's in one piece, but as soon as you take a component away, it's very flimsy. The charges at the rear of the egg and the rear shell of that protective area has completely been blown apart. The Play-Doh in the base has helped deliver the explosive forces up towards the egg. What is very interesting, if I replace the insert back to where it was, imagine the chocolate would be around it, but the charge has actually affected the insert area and has actually destroyed the whole insert, which is a very strong piece of plastic. I'm quite surprised at how this has broken up. I wonder if the toy inside has survived. As for the chocolate egg, well, it is the weakest material in that surprise egg, and it has broken up and spread itself everywhere. And now for the moment of truth, has the toy surprise survived that blast? This will be... Oh, looks like quite a complex little toy in there. Let's get it out and I'll make it up. These large Kinder Maxis have a Looney Tunes theme. I was expecting to see Tweeties and things pop out, but it looks like they're toys which are, well, loosely wrapped around a Looney Tunes theme. And this one looks like some sort of bowling alley. How strange. And going by the instructions, it looks like quite a build. Have you ever heard of six pin bowling? Well, you will now. This is a very impressive Kinder Maxi Egg toy. There's four bowling wheels. In the bowling area, there's a picture of bugs and that crazed Tazzy devil. And to play a game, it's very simple. You get one of your little wheelie things there, you put it in there, and you can line it up and take a shot. Okay, let me take aim here. I think I'm down the center there, pulling it back and fire. That was a bit of a fail, let's do another one, quickly, and fire. Well, it looks like I have three pins down and three pins standing, and the way to reset it is just pull the pins up to have another turn. Well, I'll try and do a reverse game here, so you can have a point of view of the pins. Here we go, three, two, one, and fire. Oh, not bad at all. Oh, this is a very addictive little toy, but then again, I do like 10-pin bowling. Well, you heard that crazed feline. Let's do another one and uh, try and wrap some sort of science around it, see if I can get it open. Oh yeah, bring on the chocolate egg. My evil explosive mind is thinking of putting a charge on the top and we'll cap it off with some Play-Doh. Bon voyage, talking Tom. Oh yeah, that cat didn't even blink. Well, it must be true what they say about cats, they seem to have nine lives. Talking Tom has basically survived, even though the charge was up here, it was right next to his face there. Oh, he's got a bit of a peppering of explosive material, we can't discuss exactly what that is or I'll get into trouble. The insert has been ruptured, remembering the charges on the top. It looks like um, whoever that is has popped out. Is that Daffy Duck or one of his cousins? I just don't know. Let's hope the toy surprise is okay. But look at the chocolate spread, it's gone everywhere. Some of this chocolate was down on the ground, some of it here was down on the ground. But a lot of it has blown to the back there. And it looks like the Minecraft hangers up the back there are having a chocolate feast. 
but that cat is still with us. Well, you guys probably think I've gone totally mad, but this is the most excellent way of opening up these giant Kinder Surprise eggs. Oh yeah. Well, here's the large toy surprise. The insert has been shattered by that explosive charge. I'm very curious to see what this toy is. I'll get it out and I will start building. Oh, I must admit this looks very interesting. Some sort of fishing game. And then the other side here is the instructions on how to make it. Well, here are our two characters in this beautiful surprise toy. There's Daffy Duck and there's Bugs and they're going for a bit of boat fishing of all things. Well, we've got a little pool of boats and there's actually water in this toy surprise. It seals up quite nicely. I've got to sunk a boat then. And then these two guys come in and they do a bit of fishing. Let's see how good I am at picking up a prize. Oh yeah, it looks like they're both winners. You know what they say about winners? Winners are grinners. Oh, in classic Kinder form, that is an excellent large format surprise toy. Yeah, the Looney Tunes characters look great in this surprise. Well, you heard the cat. Let's blow some more stuff up. This one is the Smarties Hen House. It's got a little hen in there, which has got Smarties inside. It's got a beautiful decorated box, which is very Easter joy. But let's open up this egg with a little bit of a explosive charge. Well, my evil explosive brain is thinking I'm going to need quite a large charge to open up this hen house. I'm also curious, will the charge in the hen here destroy the golden egg as well? What's that old saying? Never catch your chickens until they've blown up. <laughs> that hen house is strong. It has survived that blast remarkably well. Mind you, the chicken looks like it's got a major headache now. Let's just turn it around and see what happened to the back here. I did have a little access hole here for my little charge. It's like the wing of the chicken. One thing I knew about these was they're actually made with fairly thick chocolate. The shell or the actual chocolate on them is quite thick. And when you start to get complex curves and things with a thick surface like that, you start to get a bit of strength. That's the science behind this one. I'd hate to do this without any sort of science backing it. And this is an interesting piece of chocolate. Look how thick the chocolate is on this mold of this hen. And also here you can see the explosive residue. So this piece of chocolate was right near where the explosive went off, yet it's quite a large chunk, it hasn't completely disintegrated. And the reason is, is because it's so, so thick. Well, let's start to unbox this beautiful blown up hen house now, and see how everything inside has survived, or not survived. Oh yeah, all the hen has been annihilated. Looks like the golden egg has survived. But what is very interesting as we delve into this explosive area here, is there was an egg inside this hen. So it looks like it was going to lay this egg. The poor thing under this, say there would have been, yes, there they are. There are the Smarties. The Smarties would have been inside. Wow, what an Easter treat that would have been. And I'm a bit curious on how this gold egg here has survived. Let's unwrap that baby. Oh, unwrapping, unwrapping. Don't we love seeing things being unwrapped? I wonder how much damage this egg has taken in that blast. Wow, that's a bit strange. It's got, looks like heat affected there. Would that be the heat from the blast that's done that? That's very interesting, isn't it? That's really weird. It's, it's gone all, um, all molten on that side. I wouldn't have thought the heat would have been there long enough. I mean, look at that. It's actually... It's actually got hot. The rest of the egg's okay. That's the, that's the blast side. That was the side that was facing that hen. Wow, can anyone explain that one to me? There's a closer look at that. That's certainly something for the Mythbusters, I feel. Could they explain why the side of this egg here has had a lot of heat and you can just still see it's still sticky and it's that it's got that wet look of um, of hot chocolate why that's so hot considering that blast is such short duration so they get the picture again if I sit that egg which has got that molten pushed inside it was like that in there the hen would have been there and somehow that egg has been affected by that blast and you know what I would never have predicted that would have happened also, what's curious here in this CSI roundup of this blast area is that's the only Smarties I could find. I would have thought there would have been more than that. I'm pretty sure they came out of the egg. That egg was inside that hen. Maybe you had one of these before. Maybe you can tell me if they have more Smarties. I mean, some could have been blown away. Or maybe that's all you get. But what's really spooked me about this one is the mystery of this blast-affected molten egg. 
Oh, here is a very strange Easter surprise. It's a Monster High character wig with a chocolate egg. I'm thinking maybe a, a charge right in this, inside this egg is going to sort this one out. It's going to um, be an interesting one because I'm going to try and keep it in boxes possible. And see if we can't give this egg, well, a new shape via a nice explosive charge. I want to wear that wig. Well, the challenge is to blow up the egg without destroying that beautiful freakish wig. Well, let's replace some high fashion with some high explosives. Well, the cat said that was an anticlimax, but you know what? I bet you that egg has been devastated, even though the box seems untouched. The Play-Doh piece that I had at the back, which helps me confine the explosive, was shot out the back. Let's take a look inside and see what we have going on here. Remembering, we've got to keep this to a scientific level. Or else people will say, Leo, you're just blowing stuff up for, well, the fun of it. There's the wig. I think the cat will get his wig. So as I unbox this, what's your thoughts? Do you think that egg has survived? It looks untouched, doesn't it? Hey, what do you reckon? Is that egg going to be in one piece? Well, I'll tell you what, this is a very, very strange Easter thing. And if we turn it around, we'll start to see there was a lot of damage done to that egg. What is most interesting about the way this egg was packaged was there was a lot of extra cardboard in here. And I think that would have been helping, well, let's say save the egg, you might say. Or save the explosion from being totally devastating. That's all going to protect it. If you look in the back here, there's actually been a fair bit of a blowout. Well, one little lesson here is the explosives were quite small versus the burden. And the burden was all of this packaging and the way the box was set up. The best part is, was the wig survived so the cat will get his wig. And that was the main aspect of blowing this up. We didn't want to destroy the wig. And it looks like that egg has been devastated. Let's take a closer look. Considering the explosive charge is actually placed inside, the egg is about here. I'm not surprised the egg is completely blown out. And here it is. The front face seemed okay, but when you take a bit of a closer look at it... It looks like it has split down the seam, and it's not looking very happy at all. And in fact, it's quite a thick-shelled egg. There you go. That was the front face there, which looked okay, but the back face is blown away. What's very interesting to note is this egg has all these ridges and corrugations in its mould. That's going to make it a bit of a tougher egg to crack than the others that we've seen in this video. So it's a combination of this style of egg and some quite elaborate boxing has made this a very tough egg to break. Well, I'm sort of curious about blowing up this Hot Wheels car and egg, and I'm thinking this is a much smaller egg than the Monster High one. It's a much smaller box. Uh, I wonder if the charge in there is going to blow the box apart, or will we see the same effect as the Monster High one, where basically this style of packaging confines the explosion? Maybe this will explain if Hot Wheels have made any bomb vehicles. Crikey's, that was a car bomb, but has that little Hot Wheels car survived? Scary. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a few lessons in this one. That little box has been completely blown apart and the egg is totally devastated. Remembering it was basically the same charge that was in that Monster High box but that monster high box is a lot bigger and so was the egg and the egg was a slightly different structure i noticed the play-doh plug that i use in the back of all these charges was blown over there but um what was amazing was the car has been ejected and i'll just go and grab it it's actually down on the floor the whole top component was ejected and flown up in the air and it landed i don't know a few feet away from the table i'm not sure what the cameras pick up in seeing that fly off and maybe this box is riding a cushion of high velocity gas because there's not a mark on this thing. It seems totally intact. You know, it's funny when I look at the box design of this now, this is like a little escape capsule. And sure enough, it worked. The car in there is untouched. The actual capsule itself has survived. As for where the epicenter of the blast was, that's devastation. But then again, look at the way this box is designed. The cardboard around it has taken a bit of whack. The outside cardboard has also taken a bit of whack. It's, all the energy has been expelled through that. It's opened up. And the chocolate has taken the biggest whack of all. Considering that was the closest thing to the blast. It's completely devastated. Maybe we should wrap ourselves up on boxes. A couple of layers of boxes. And we would survive anything.
I keep telling you guys you'll learn stuff by watching these, believe me. And in amongst the sweet smell of chocolate and explosives, I can land that beautiful Hot Wheels vehicle. Oh yeah, that's one stunning looking Hot Wheels vehicle. So there you go, Talking Tom, you've got your Hot Wheels vehicle, you've got your Monster High wig, what else do you want in life? Well, that crazed Tomcat seems to have a passion for destruction. I'm going to give Mr. Bump a new name, and I'm going to put a little charge in the back here. The packaging here is quite strong. It's one of these things where the packaging is actually saving Mr. Bump from falling to pieces. But I wonder how long you'll last once a little bomb's inside him. Time to remove your bandages, Mr. Bump, with a bomb. Well, I certainly hope Mr. Bump's life insurance was topped up. Well, Mr. Bump, well, let's call him Mr. Bang now because he has completely disintegrated. There's uh, a little bit of him left that we can sort of see there. The bandages didn't really hold him together, didn't help you there, Mr. Bump. Um, you've seen much better days, his hands here. The outer cardboard seems to have survived. But in a funny way, this plastic um, shell casing... That might have aided in his destruction. Over the back here, there's small bits of chocolate. There's the Play-Doh. The play is a very important part in all this. It's the rear confinement of the charge. And there's all sorts of little bits of chocolate and stuff. There's actually chocolate up in the wall of toys as well. And it's going to bring a whole bunch of ants in. I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's one of those things, the closer you look, the more chocolate you see. And take a look underneath R2-D2 there. Now what's very interesting is the Daleks have taken a bit of a hit. There must have been a piece of chocolate fly up and hit them because one has fallen down onto the table and the other one up here has taken a hit. So maybe the video camera will reveal what's happened to these guys. I haven't looked back on the slow motion yet. Now what's very interesting is with the Dalek down on the table here, there's a piece of chocolate stuck in his top turret there. I bet you that little piece of chocolate was travelling at some velocity and it might have been a larger piece. So in seeing that, we're learning another little aspect about explosives, and that's shrapnel. Some of those pieces of chocolate would have been moving at some high velocity. And unfortunately, in warfare, shrapnel is often used to take out the enemy. Always remembering from this chaos, there are things to be learned. Okay, let's open up this guy here. I'm not going to blow him up because he's too beautiful to blow up in my first... Easter egg surprise video, blah blah. I opened one of these and had an excellent surprise toy inside. I'm happy this one's going to be the same. Just, you know, people sometimes want to see, oh, could we see the beauty of the bunny? Well, let's take a look at the beauty of the bunny. And you know, there'll be some people who criticize me for this video, but you know, guys, I'm just trying to do something different. I'm not trying to be like the masses and masses of clone YouTubers we have on YouTube now. And that's really sad to see where people just go along and copy each other. Well, I'm banking on the fact that no one's going to copy me and blow up a whole bunch of Easter eggs, but who knows? Someone out there probably have a go. Well, down in his egg belly there is a surprise. I can hear it rattling around. I'm going to try and de-seam this guy. Try and get him open without smacking him up. It's got a bit cooler the weather where I live because I'm all... Oh, well, there goes my theory about trying to get him open. Might be able to do it like this. It's got cooler now. Um, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. It's just going to crack up. Oh, well, I was going to show you something special. Um, uh, no. Nah. Anyway, let's get the surprise out and see what we've got. I used to be a very keen collector of these, and I gave my collection away about a year back to a person on YouTube. Oh, it's another one of the egg guys. Who's it going to be this time? I think it was a tennis guy I got last time. <gasps> Who's it going to be this time? Come on out, you little egg man. He's picking out. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? Come on. I got him by the hand. I got gotcha. you. I'm going to save you. Oh, what's it going to be? It's a sports theme. Is that a soccer guy? That is very, very cool. Oh, he's got two fingers up. Is that a rude gesture in some countries? He's got a Bieber backwards cap on. Is that a basketball? I might have said he was a soccer player before. How fail would that be? I'm always getting it wrong, but I tell you what, he looks absolutely fantastic. And as always, with these kinders, 
this little sheet here will reveal the magic for us. Well, there's a series. I showed that series in my first Easter egg opening things. He's the first guy there. Is that basketball, isn't it? It's got a hoop like that. It could be netball. I wouldn't know. I think that's, I said I want the karate guy. I've got the tennis player and I've got this basketball player. And um, yeah, there's a beautiful picture of him. Well, those Kinder Chocolate Bunnies where I live are $5 a pop, but I tell you what, I'm very, very happy with the Kinder Surprises that come out of them. And if you recall, back at Christmas time when I was opening up some Kinder stuff, there was that beautiful little Christmas box carrying Kinder Eggman. And I'll tell you what, seeing these fantastic Kinder Eggman is rekindling my interest in collecting these small toys again. Different components. <laughs> Pull it back and fire. Oh dear. Probably the epic fail. Here we go. And it was. Is a very addictive one, and it's a rather nice, and the pin is come adrift. <coughs> this is the Smarties Hen House, it's a Nestle, blah blah. <coughs> I can't do much with kookaburras and thunder outside. <coughs> it's a Monster High character wig with a blah blah. So there you go, talking Tom, you've got your hop, your blah 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 blah. Slow mo bomb time.